What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I don't know how many of you all have been paying attention to the UFO news that has been coming out, but it looks like we are getting closer and closer and closer to our government revealing some really wild stuff to the American public, and I just hope everyone is ready. All of the people who still think that this is a conspiracy and that aliens aren't real, I hope you all are ready because it's going to be a real culture shock. Uh, this comes just hours after a rare moment of bipartisanship as senators on both sides of the aisle joined together to call on the U.S. military to declassify documents related to how common, unidentified, anomalous phenomena, UAPs and UFOs are. Um, it's an amendment being offered by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, supported by Dems and Republicans alike, to the Defense Authorization Bill, which we told you earlier passed the House. Um, this issue has been getting more and more attention after the discovery of objects like Chinese spy balloons floating through U.S. skies. Scotty Schwartz joins me now. Scotty, good to talk to you about UFOs of all things. How big of a deal is it that we've now got some of our most powerful lawmakers uh, acknowledging how common these sightings have been? And it's not just these sightings. So we've seen this whole issue supercharged. Earlier, we saw those uh, videos of things that were flying in the sky that, that the airmen could not explain. It is moved into uh, a very different territory. So uh, what we have right now is a whistleblower, a former high-ranking intelligence officer who has been going around, has been having conversations with high-ranking members of Congress and telling them basically the same UFO conspiracy story that we are all very, very familiar with. Yeah. Uh, that story involves uh, possibly um, alien craft that have been recovered by the United States government. It involves the possible recovery of alien bodies that may or may not have been alive what? at the time. And again, this sounds like, yeah, this sounds like the plot of, of so many movies that we've seen. But this is a high-ranking intelligence officer who has gone on the record uh, with members of Congress, with another uh, news agent. Agency. He has declined all requests for interview, uh, but he is saying that there has been a cover-up that's been going on for more than 50 years, and so now he wants to take that straight to Congress, and it sounds like Congress actually wants to hear that. Uh, and so, uh, again, it's one of those things that we've been trying to vet for a really long time, hard to vet because uh, the Pentagon has denied those claims. Uh, he says that he can't share more because it's classified. It's put everything into a precarious situation when it comes to what we can actually verify. But what we can verify is all of this is going to Congress. They are going to be hearing from this whistleblower. And now we have this legislation, proposed legislation uh, from Chuck Schumer, who is calling on all government agencies to turn over what they know about UF, UFOs and UAPs so they can try to declassify it. Yasmin? All right, Gotti Schwartz for us. Um, thank you, Gotti. No. Uh, appreciate it. Lots of discovery there, to say the least. And by the way, you can catch Gotti on his... You know, there's people who whenever they see talk about aliens or UFOs, they automatically write it off as fake. Never mind the fact that our government, our politicians are literally openly talking about it now. They won't even give it the time of day to listen to it. In fact, you can tell people on the streets right now that Congress is having secret meetings about UFOs and they will look at you like you're crazy even though it's literally being talked about on the mainstream news channels at this point. So, I mean, it is what it is. A lot of people are going to have their world turned upside down. A lot of us are just going to be going about business as usual. Like, yeah, we knew this was coming for years. We've been trying to tell y'all. But it is what it is. I do believe that there is still some hesitancy, though. Because the reality is, if they reveal this information, it's going to have huge effects on our life, the way we view life, and on our economy. I think the, I think the economy is probably one of the main reasons why they're trying to keep this info under wraps. Because once it's revealed that they have otherworldly UFO technology, it's going to change our economy forever. Will cars still be running off of fuel? 
Will we still need gas? You know, it, it, it may change how fast we can get from point A to point B. So many things will change. And I think that's a small, it's not a small detail. It's a major detail that I don't think people realize how major it is. Like something, this new type of technology being introduced into our world, it's a game changer. And depending on who has access to this technology, we could see new world superpowers arise. We could see countries like America who have always been this dominating country when it comes to economics and money, we could fall off simply because another country has access to more UFO technology. You know, we're going to have to see our, how can I put this? In many ways, the world is going to have to change to mold around this new technology because if there is this technology out there, there's also going to have to be excuses as to why we're not using this technology for good or why we're not using this technology for that. And I don't think they're ready to explain these things away yet. Also, I don't think they're ready to lose the grip that they have on our society because introducing something like this can cause major shifts, you know, all around the planet, not only shifts in the economy, but shifts in how people view the world. And at the end of the day, when you look around, you have to realize that we are, there's billions of people on this earth. And the billions of people on this earth, we are all basically controlled. We're all controlled and governed by a very small portion of people. There's a very small portion of people who are over, overlooking all of this, who don't want to be overthrown. And I personally believe that religion has been used to keep a lot of people in check. Religion has been used to keep a lot of people from doing this or doing that. How can you control a whole society? How can you stop people from overthrowing governments and world powers? Well, using religion is one way to do so. And I think the powers that be are kind of scared because for some people, and I don't necessarily understand why, I guess I kind of understand why, but it's not how I view life. Some people, the existence of aliens will change everything for them. It will make them just throw out their religion because a lot of people don't think that there's a possibility that aliens could be real and Jesus, it could be real, you know? People don't think that. People think that, oh, if God and Jesus is real, then aliens can't be real. That's how a lot of people feel. Or they feel like, oh, if Allah or whoever you worship is real, then aliens can't be real. And if aliens are real, that means our God isn't real. And if a lot of people s just stop believing and think about it, if you have billions of people on this planet that simultaneously lose their faith and stop believing in a higher power all at the same time, you know, chaos could and will probably break loose. So I think that's something that they're also thinking about when it comes to releasing this information. But I think the main factor in why we haven't seen them just straight up tell us the truth yet is because of the economy. And they know that it may change how the economy works. It may make them lose power. Some people will gain power from this, but others will lose that power. And at the end of the day, I don't think they fully understand how introducing this technology or whatever will shape the planet. And they're scared that they may lose their power. But we're seeing all of these high these high-ranking intelligence officials, people who work for the Pentagon, people who worked for the military, they're coming out and they're straight up saying, UFOs are real, we've seen them, we've seen the documents, and it's time to get this information out there. Now, why they're choosing right now, after all of these years, I think there's something behind that as well. But apparently now, 
the Pentagon is trying to block some of these people from speaking to Congress. Let's go ahead and roll this clip. And while you're watching it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. These videos are totally free. I enjoy making them. I hope you enjoy watching them. And if you do, hit the thumbs up button. Let's roll this clip and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. What can you tell us about these hearings? Because we had initially heard that the <laughs> hearing involving the whistleblower uh, would happen later this month. Is that still planned? Is that still, is that going to be scheduled officially? I, I, yeah, I, I'm not going to say who's going to be at the hearing. We're going to firm that up, and I'll let the committee announce that. But I will say that it'll happen before the end of this month. Before the and end of this month. And you all have been great. You broke before the end of July. Yes, sir. That is our plan. And um, we're trying to nail down all the details. But, of course, you know, we have the Pentagon pushing against us, calling some of our witnesses, telling them, you know, don't go testify before this committee. If we have to, we'll use the power of subpoena. We'll bring them in there and make them tell the truth. Because this thing has been covered up. It is ridiculous. We, the Pentagon needs to come forth with the truth, finally. And let's, let's put this, let's, let's move on to another issue. But until then, I think we need to find out what's going on. And, and the charcoal briquette comment, everybody always quotes me on that. And um, <laughs> the reality is these folks, they, if, they, if they are beings from light years away or wherever, the dark side of the moon, I don't know, um, they, their technology is so incredible that, that they could have done us, if they can travel light years to visit our little measly planet, um, now, I think the majority of us who have been paying attention to this type of stuff for a long time, we're all kind of on the same page. We can all agree that there is something else going on here. Like something besides just, oh, they woke up one morning and decided now we want to expose the secret UFO programs. You know what I mean? Like it there's definitely something going on behind the scenes besides just the UFOs because you're not going to convince me that just randomly suddenly out of nowhere everyone within our government is just starting to have a change of heart and now they just want to be truthful about aliens and UFOs and all of the secrets they've been covering up for decades you're not going to make me believe that they are just suddenly doing this without having a hidden agenda behind it. Now, I do believe that there are secret programs investigating UFOs. I believe in aliens. I believe in UFOs. But, <laughs> like many people, I don't trust the government. And I think that if you're someone who has looked into UFOs, for years, like I've looked into UFOs my whole life. So it's really weird when we finally reach the point where the government wants to start talking about it. Because for years, it's been something that's hidden. For years, we have been labeled conspiracy theorists and tinfoil hat wearer, wearers. And we've been labeled as crazy and kooks for believing that aliens are real. And now they're just like, oh yeah, sorry. Sorry for um demonizing you and discrediting you and making you look crazy for all of these years. Turns out you were right. Here's the aliens. You know what I mean? So I don't really trust that this is... I don't really believe that a lot of these people who are coming out are coming out on their own. I kind of feel like the Pentagon, the military, these secret government agencies, I kind of feel like they're telling these people to come out. But now, supposedly, the Pentagon is trying to stop these people from speaking out. And I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Like, are these people really what you would label as whistleblowers who are going against the grain and trying to reveal information? Or are these just government plants that are doing the job of the government revealing this information because the government has a hidden agenda behind it? And then you have the Pentagon supposedly trying to stop these people, but are they really? Or is this just another little thing that they threw out there to make, the, to make it seem more believable that these are real whistleblowers? Like, you know, I can't quite put my finger on exactly what is happening here, but there is definitely something. This push is not coming from nowhere. No one just decided, hey, you know, 2023, we're all going to come together and reveal aliens for no reason. You know what I mean? So I, <laughs> in all honesty, 
the thought of alien life existing, the thought of UFOs, it doesn't scare me at all. It doesn't scare me at all. Now, if an alien landed in my front yard, hell yeah, I'd be scared. But the thought of aliens existing doesn't scare me at all. The thought of a government plot to reveal that aliens exist for a hidden agenda, that's what scares me. That really scares me. And I'm really concerned about that. Because throughout the years of investigating UFOs, there were always those theories and stuff out there that the government one day would use aliens and UFOs to pull off some wild stuff. That they would use the guise of aliens and UFOs. They may fake an alien invasion. They may do this, Project Bluebeam. We've heard of all of these things. So now that it's confirmed that aliens and UFOs are probably real, now everyone's looking like, okay, so if the aliens and UFOs have been real all these years, then maybe those same theories that we were reading back in the day about the government revealing that aliens were real for their own hidden agenda, maybe that theory is real as well. You know what I'm saying? So huh, it's a lot to keep up with, for sure. There's a lot going on right now. And it sucks that other things dominate our headlines. Like I hate looking at the news and people are talking about Jonah Hill's text messages and people are talking about this and that. And then like, dude, we live in a day and age where our government is telling us information about aliens and y'all are worried about celebrities having relationship issues and stuff. You know, I get being entertained by certain things because we talk about celebrity stuff in this channel as well, but it seems like no one really cares. The moment has arrived where they're releasing all of this information, the most important information to ever be released in the history of humankind. Make no mistake about it. There is no news story that could ever happen on planet Earth that would be bigger than the announcement that there are other living beings on other planets, that there's other life out there. That's the biggest news that could ever possibly break. Yet, no one really cares. Let me know your thoughts, though, down in the comments. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll be talking to you all in the next video.